guys. I'm just making a quick trip to town. Um, just to the meat store. To the butcher. Yeah. I feel like hours from the Brady Bunch to go to the butcher. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to run in and get a few things there. And then come back home. Bruce has to go to work. It's just, oh, there, there's a robin. I haven't seen any robins around. I thought they left already. Like, uh, I very hardly see any robins right now. And, uh, I think most of them left already. We turned around. We're getting a little bit of color. Uh, the trees are turning. They're starting to turn. Just start. A long ways to go, but today is fall. Happy fall, everyone! People can't oh, can't you wait for fall? Not no more, guys. It's fall, you all. <laughs> yeah, so I want to run in and get some chicken wings and maybe a roast and a couple things to put in the freezer. I was going to go to Costco this morning, Bruce said, well, wait till next week, because this is his last day, and he's going to be off six weeks. We'll be able to get some projects done, and yeah, can't wait. Yeah, so, um, there's very little turning. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys are going to come to Romano's with me to get some meat. I'm going to get, I'm going to pick up some buns there for Bruce's lunch because I uh, didn't get a chance to make any bread yet, but I will. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Let's go to town. Okay, guys. We're here. Let's go in. Get a few. Oh, it smells good. As soon as you turn that corner, oh, they're making their sauce, you guys. Why oh, does it smell good? Woohoo! So I get to Costco for my chili. I'm making chili today. I'm gonna get some buns for Bruce's lunch. Put you down. Parmesan? Yeah. I don't. Oh, maybe in the container. We 
have some smaller packs of uh, Murata before. That means you can ask him at the deli with the Okay. Uh, okay. That was really nice. I mean, but if you're used to farm, then... Maybe I'll try that one. It's, it's, it's a little sharper, a little more taste. I'll try it. A lot of the halls do something. What's that? A lot of the banks are do they? Oh, that's good. You sold me on that. Okay, I'm home and let me show you everything. I'm cooking Nate a grilled cheese before he goes and he'll have the chicken fingers I got at Walmart for dinner later. Okay, so I got a huge, this is huge, this chicken. I'm going to cook this. I'm going to get a chicken dinner. Then I wanted to do uh, hot chicken sandwiches. And then the rest, I'm making chicken pot pie with it. Yeah. It's, I'm just, I'm deciding I'm not buying my meat from No Frills or Walmart because it's crap. Those steaks we got were horrible. They were so awful. So I said to Bruce, we're going to get our, like these, these chickens here are from town, like, like from town, Brennan, uh, I think it's called Brennan, where they butcher the chickens. I forget what the place is called, but it's in here. It's in town. I got this beautiful roast. I'm going to cut that in half. I'll show you when I cut that in half. I love, love, love the chicken wings from Romano. So I got a whole bag of them. We love the shish kebab. I got a whole box of those. Wonderful. They make them fresh there right in the store. And I got a package of uh, chicken for Nate. He loves their chicken there. So let me put this, get this put away and I'll show you the, more. Okay, there's the roast and I cut it in half. And then I got two roasts out of one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wrap it up, wrap them each up separately, and put them in the freezer. Yes. Okay, these are two buns I got at Romano's. I made Bruce two sandwiches, probably one for work and one for tomorrow at home. Because after today, he's off six weeks. Six weeks, hon. Woo! <laughs> I ended up wrapping the roast beef. Do be with me, bitches! Did you get that tape? Um, what tape? They um, got it done. Here. Okay, perfect. He's always old. Okay. Oh, okay, I got some pieces of Hadlock. Beer battered Hadlock. Woo! I got some baby back ribs. Woo! I got some of this cheese. Yeah, it, baby! That's really good on pasta. Well, you heard them. You were with me, guys. And I got two jars of this. This is what I make my put in my chili, and I don't want to use my my good stuff yet. We got to get through all winter. So when I go to Costco, I'm going to pick up a case of this. A case. Well, six, six in a case. Oh, I thought you meant a whole case. And that now let me. I went to Walmart, so I let me show you. I got got a few things. Where's my lunch for right now? Oh, honey, have a couple chicken wings. Yeah! That's the good stuff, hon. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff, man. Gotta keep that stuff in the fridge. Gotta keep that one right away from oh, everybody. Oh, 
and spaghetti or penny. Oh, yum. Okay, show them what I got. I got some chicken wings. And Nate's going to have some of these tonight. Chicken fingers. Chicken wedges. Oh, I got some wedgies. And I also, I got a salad and they only had large ones. I wanted a small salad, but she went and checked for me and there was only a large one, but we'll eat that with our sandwiches at lunchtime and I'm going to make some, make us some lunch. We can sit down and eat some lunch. I got a few more things to show you. Okay. I got, um, some large Ziploc bags. I forget what I got them for. I needed for something. I got dill pickle chips, ripple chips, wavy chips. And uh, lightly salted barbecue chips. I got two loaves of bread. You know, pick your battles. I'm busy today and I want to do my puzzle. So I picked my battle. And I bought a brown loaf, honey oat, and a white loaf for Nate. I bought the smaller tortillas. I might make a Big Mac. Not today. Uh, I don't know. Maybe next week. Uh, I got sausages in the freezer, so I got some hot dog buns. I got a box of penny. I couldn't, I think last time I went shopping for the noodles, they, they, they were out of the penny noodles, so I picked that up. I love to do a penny bake in the oven. Sour cream. I have stumped pierogies in the freezer. A hell of a good chip was on sale, so they only had dill pickle. So I got the two dip pickles. The other ones they were out of. The butter was still for something on sale. So I picked up two more to put in the freezer. I picked up milk in Canada. You can buy milk like this. It's got three bags in there. I'm going to put two bags in the freezer. And I'm going to put one in the fridge. And then I also got three boxes of Cheerios. And that's what I got. Let's fix our lunch and have some lunch. I'm starving. Okay, guys, you got your lunch or your dinner or your breakfast? You can just pause me and go get yourself something to eat. You look hungry. <laughs> okay. So I have uh, chicken wings, wedges. I got two salads. I got the macaroni salad and I got my broccoli salad. And I got me a Pepsi Zero. Oh, you know, us, us women, I come in, Nate wanted a sandwich, grilled cheese sandwich. So I made him one of those. I did the, uh, I did the Romano's part of it. I did the haul. Then I cut up the roast beef. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I made his grilled cheese and then uh, he said he wouldn't mind another one. I said, well, wait. And then Bruce says, where's my lunch? He had to go to work. So I said. So I made him ham sandwiches. And I said, he said, well, I'm hungry now. I swear I got children. <laughs> so he said, get yourself some wings and chicken. He had that, and Nate said, hmm. Nate said, oh, I wouldn't mind another grilled cheese. <laughs> and then, Coco was barking at me because he's hungry, so I got their food. What's this guy doing?
I don't know what she's doing, reading meters. Mom. What? Did you see that gas guy go by? Yeah. Okay. Thank I don't you. know what he's doing. <laughs> I think he was checking our thing. Yeah. Our thing on the just side. Just lock the, the door just in case. Mom, he's not a criminal. I don't care. Lock the door. The screen door. There we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> you got internet? I do. I'm playing I'm with my friends computer. right now. I just went, I just uploaded a, I'm trying to upload a, did you get food? A video. This is chicken wings. I got, it's the same. You got chicken strips and I got chicken wings. You want a chicken wing? No. Your chicken strips are in the fridge. Okay. I go back around. He's got a big old cellular phone. Mm hmm First, I thought it was Amazon because they wear those vests too, and they're like, package. <laughs> oh, I saw that guy, and I was here. I swear we, I swear we saw him before. He looked familiar. So that's why I was thinking it's probably that gas guy because he looks familiar. Mm -hmm. Okay, love you. Love you. Just wanted to know if you saw him. Anyways. I made the dogs their dinner. And then I, uh, I go to sit down. Before I go sit down, I go to check to see if my, my video's been, uh, finished uploading to YouTube. My computer says, "Hmm, we don't, we can't find a connection." So it's either my computer. I'm gonna check and see if it's connected to the TV. That computer. I believe I can build it. <laughs> Yep. The TV's streaming, so it's my computer. I'm going to shut it back off. Turn it back on. That takes an hour. <laughs> I swear. If I have to, uh, if I have to turn my computer off, it takes an hour for it to, for it to go back on. Probably got too much stuff on there. I'll do it after I'm done eating. Mm. Romano's was so busy. There's a lot of people going to be off six weeks. Then. Well, Ford, I, I, I think they settled. I'm not sure. Chrysler's contract is up. They may be going on strike. All the feeder plants will be down. <sighs> Going to be a lot of people out and about. <laughs> Walmart's chicken wings are better than Sophie's. Mm-hmm. So guess who was the first one to bed last night? Mama Karen. <laughs> oh, I can't believe 
She slept outside all night. It's a choice you have to take if one of your chickens aren't going, if you can't find them. Do you leave the coop open and have like five, you know, uh, at risk? Or do you leave one at risk and close your coop? You have to pick. Once in a while, a chicken does that. It just goes off and then comes back the next day. It happens. A girl I follow on TikTok happened to her. It was her husband's favorite chicken. But the next day, she showed up. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey. I still want to get uh, for the freezer. Um... But I will to Costco. I want to get a pack of chicken breasts. A pack of... Chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are tasty, you guys. Some of you just don't like it, but... I think chicken thighs, chicken thighs are so tasty. Mm -hmm. There's my computer. <laughs> and I want to get some ground beef. I almost bought a box of New York strips at Romano's. You got 16 in the box for $109. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. I have to get my calculator out to see how much that would be for each steak. Those steaks we got at No Frills were terrible. Bruce said, I bet you they were old meat, old steak, old meat. I'm the kind of person that would like, I'll just pay a little extra for good quality. Instead of buying that garbage. I hardly shop at No Frills anymore. Very rare I go there. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that groomer texts me about cutting the dog's hair for tomorrow. She works she works at one of the big three. So she'll be down for six weeks too. Mm -hmm. She 
she works at there and uh, she runs her business, her and her sister. Best groomers I've ever had. Well, it's the only groomers we've ever had. Yeah. I used to bring Lexi there, too. Mm-hmm. My brother's dog, when I had him, had her. She does Coco slowly, like she'll bath him, give him a break, let him sit to dry, maybe trim his nails, give him a break, because he's, well, he's old. Coco's going to be 16. <laughs> you believe that? I'm hoping... I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping he lives to 21 or older hopefully the oldest dog in the world maybe <clears throat> and Sandy's 12 you wouldn't know it. <laughs> she could have lived old too. <laughs> you guys. Hold on. Someone on my Facebook page has two white chihuahuas. They're just little tiny things. And the puppies are where she got them. They have a, uh, some still left. <laughs> Oh, Bruce won't let me. I've always dreamed of having a miniature, a, me a teacup chihuahua. <laughs> Bruce was like, no. No way. I had a chance to get another, um, cockatiel. Someone had to get rid of their cockatiel and asked me. Me and Bruce tried all we can. Me and Nate, I mean, me and Nate tried all weekend to talk him into it. There's no way. There's no more pets. <laughs> no more pets. We said that about chickens, though, didn't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no more chickens. I'm glad we got these chickens. They're really... They're, their personality is bursting. And I've never met... Never had chickens so much that 
They like to have their hugs and they like to sit there and cuddle and talk. Especially Marshmallow. Every night she jumps up on my chair. Out, out in the chicken yard. And I pet her. And talk to her. Ask her how her day was. <laughs> I noticed they've been getting all the bugs in the neighbor's yard. <sighs> he likes that. He says they do a good job. <laughs> Nobody complains with them roaming, so. Mm -hmm. A few of the walkers that walk by every night were like, I like, if you see a, f this was last night when, or the night before when, when Karen was missing. I said, have you seen a, if you see on your walk a black, Great chicken. Let us know. <laughs> the same ones that walk by every day. One couple. I haven't seen them in a while. They used to walk their little dog, just like Sandy, it was like Sandy's, looked like Sandy's brother. Uh, but one time, they said they didn't have, they didn't have him with them. And I said, "Where's your baby?" And they said he's not feeling good. He had heart problems. So. I'm pretty sure. They lost their dog. Because it used to be every day they'd walk by. With their dog. Now I see them once in a while. But they don't have their dog anymore. I'm trying to. Trying to get back to walking, but Coco's so just to put a call, uh, just to put his leash on and stuff. He doesn't stop, and he sends my anxiety out the roof. I'm struggling to put on his um, harness. Uh. <laughs> I'll cut that out. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to work on my puzzle for a bit. What do you want? <laughs> I'm going to share my chicken with you. I'll put some over here for you. And uh, I got dishes to do. I'm going to make some just chili. I love to have my cream cheese and chili and chips. I might throw that couple batches in the freezer. And uh, I'm going to work on my puzzle. And... We'll bring you along for our weekend. And for the next six weeks. <laughs> I 
gosh, pray for me. And Nate. <laughs> I'm used to my afternoon of quiet where I just sit here, do my puzzle, I read my book. Oh, I gotta tell you, I finished my book. I gotta tell you about that. I'll tell you tomorrow. We'll probably just, I don't know what's happening. If we bring the dogs in for their haircut, we'll bring you with us and see what we come up with. But next week, we'll probably go for a few country rides, get some nice produce at the side of the road. We'll bring you guys with us. So, stick with us. We got Bruce home for six weeks, so we're going to be up to something. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for having lunch with me. Or breakfast. Or dinner. Let me know what you had down in the comments.